Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic color and lighting uh, manipulation within photos using Pixlr, which can be found at pixlr.com. It's a free image editor, it's a fantastic alternative to Photoshop and available online so you can use it anytime you like so long as you've got an internet connection and a browser. Uh, obviously it doesn't have all the features of Photoshop, but um, what it does do is, is fairly powerful considering that it's free. So Pixel Editor is what we're going to be using. And here we are. I'm going to be opening an image. Uh, and I'll start off with this darker image. Uh, and what we're going to do first of all is play around with the levels in this image. As you can see it's quite a dark image. So we just need to go up to the adjustment me menu, go to levels, and here you can see we've got the low tones, high tones and mid tones, or the highlights, low lights and uh, mid tones. What we want to do is bring those highlights, just drag it down to right as the graph starts to spike up, uh, the main part of uh, the graph there starts to spike up on this end. Uh, and you'll see we've brightened up that image quite significantly. We can even play with the mid-tones from there uh, to make it look even nicer. I mean, that's not too bad right there. Um, and press OK and you're done. We've changed uh, the lighting in this picture just by using levels. Uh, I'll close that one down and I won't save it at this time but uh, obviously if you're working on an image you'll be saving it. I'll open up the next one and this one is the opposite. So it's quite light and we want to darken it a little bit. It looks a little bit washed out. Let's go up to adjustment and levels and you can see uh, we do almost exact opposite to the one we did just now. So right to where the graph starts to spike up. We might want to bring the highlights down a little bit as well just to make it pop a little bit more. That's looking really nice. So we can play with the mid-tones, right about there looks pretty good. Uh, press OK, and there we go. Very quickly and easily we've been able to make that uh, image look so much better. So the histogram that we came up, that was the word I was looking for before. Um, this histogram has actually changed now. Uh, so you can see where we are inside the histogram as far as all the different levels that we have now. Alright, I'll close that one. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one I'm going to be working on is the this one here. And as you can see, the, the sky is a little bit lighter than maybe we want. Um, so we're going to be using a combination of uh, the selection tool. In particular, we're going to be using the magic wand, or the wand tool as it's called in Pixlr. A uh, very similar tool is found in Photoshop, it's almost identical actually. Uh, and what we can do is by adjusting the tolerance here, we can play around with this up and down. And the tolerance, as we adjust that, we can select just a portion of uh, the image. The tolerance, the higher the tolerance, the more colors it will select uh, from where you click. Uh, the lower the tolerance, the less colors it will select from uh, the point that you click on the screen. So we'll try that. That's not too bad to start off with. So let's keep clicking. Oh, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention. If you want to add to the current selection, you hold down the shift key. If you want to take away from the current selection, see how my cursor changed to the plus? Uh, if you want to take away from a selection, you hold down the control key and it changes to the minus to take away from the selection. So I'll um, hold down the plus, uh, the shift key to add to my selection and just slowly add some more of the sky to the selection until we've got most of the sky. Let's undo that. See it picked up some of the opera house in there which we don't want so let's bring the tolerance down. Control Z is undo just like any other program. Maybe not down that far. Alright, see how we go with this. So hold down shift and keep trying to add to the selection on the screen. I'm 
now that I've got just the sky selected I can adjust the levels and uh, it'll only affect the levels in the selection that I have on my screen right now so it's only going to affect the levels on the sky so I'll do that now go adjustment levels and now I can make the sky look much more dramatic and that's looking much much better play around with this end as well and maybe the mid-tones a little bit yeah I'm liking that that looks really nice. It's almost got a bit of a glow around the Opera House. It's a cool effect. Okay. Uh, the next image, oh, just press Control D to deselect and you can see the difference that that's made to that image. Huge difference. All right, the next image, I'll open up. Uh, this next one that we're going to do, we've got the Hornby Lighthouse fantastic image and we're going to be looking at a different adjustment this time we're going to go to just adjustment hue and saturation so with um, hue and saturation what I'm going to be doing is using saturation to actually take the color out of this image to make it black and white and all you need to do is take it right down to remove all the saturation from the image and we've just converted that image to black and white very very easy to do that. Uh, the hue is not really making much difference right now because uh, we've taken all of the color out so hue will change the color as we'll see later on but uh, we've taken it all out so if I press OK black and white image very nice very easy to do a black and white image. Alright next one I'm going to open up and this image and do the exact opposite. So let's go up to adjustment, hue and saturation, and I'm actually going to give this some extra color. Now, how does that look as I'm bringing the color up? It's looking much more vibrant uh, in this image. It was quite a little bit washed out before, looking much more vibrant as we adjust the saturation up on the image. It's looking much, much better. Very basic, but it can make dramatic difference to the image. Alright, the next one, and the last one I think it is, yes, very last one. So in this image, what I'm going to do is actually use the wand tool again and try and select just the dress and then what we're going to do is change the color of the dress. So I'll try that now, hey that's not too bad is it? <laughs> Uh, let's shift to add to that. Let's put the tolerance up a little bit. Let's see how we go. Oh, maybe bring that down a little bit. Alright, that's not looking too bad, but we do have this weird bit here that I don't want as part of the selection. Let's just make sure we've got all of this here. Now you, you can probably take a little bit more time than what I'm doing now, but um, what I'm going to do is grab the lasso tool and I'm going to get the polygon lasso tool in this case and I'm going to subtract I'm going to hold down the control key so that we're taking away from the selection. I'm going to subtract just this bit here so that we don't have that shadow that's not part of the dress, it's just part of her arm. Uh, so click, drag and then click again and just draw some sort of polygon and join it back up. And there we go. It took that, that little bit of the image just there uh, straight out of our selection. So now that we've done that, we can go to our adjustments again, go back to hue and saturation, and we can actually change the hue of the dress. So change the color. I can give her a blue dress if I want to. That looks quite nice. I can change the saturation down a little bit, to make it look a little bit more natural, uh, and maybe bring the lightness down. I could put it right up if you want, but that doesn't look very nice. Maybe bring the lightness down just a touch, press OK, 
and press Control D to deselect. And there we go, I've just changed her dress from red to blue. So I hope all these little image manipulation tricks are helpful in helping you change color and lighting in images. And uh, feel free to check out other Pixlr video tutorials that I've got uh, that should be able to help you with other Pixlr um, skills that you might be able to pick up as well. Thanks very much for watching.